You know what? We don't know a lot about tech. We we don't we don't. I mean, it's it's kind of like us. I mean, there's just a lot of new faces. Um, a lot of new faces. They graduated a lot of players last year. We graduated a lot of players. So I think two teams who are uh, probably in a, in a pretty similar place are going to be going at, uh, going at it this weekend. So um, always one of our favorite road trips. It's exciting. Um, and uh, it's going to be our first road trip of the year. So, um, you know, we're, we're excited to play. And it just seems like seems like we've been practicing for two months and uh, we just haven't played a lot of games. So we just now we're going to now we're going to get into a groove. Yeah, I mean we've had good practices. We really have. We got a we got a lot. We got an eager bunch. Um, they, there's a lot of bright eyes. They want to learn. They they work hard. Um, we've had a lot of good practices. Probably yesterday was probably the only practice that uh, they leveled off a bit. Um, but again, I, we gave them the whole weekend off too. I think that probably was a, a part of it. But overall, again, we've had good energy, um, good execution, and uh, the guys again they 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 show and they've got a lot of hunger. So we just need to now we need to, we need to start playing games just to see where we're at. Absolutely. Well, the guys responded well two weeks ago. We played we played very well. We could have easily won both those games against ASU. And, uh, you know, we did a lot of good things. We did a lot of good things. And there's some things we need to work on. That's just going to be – that's going to be probably uh, – that's going to be the book. That's going to be the same book probably all year. But a lot of people are, you know, uh, writing that same book. Well, I don't – it's not necessarily working on things, Chaz. It's getting experience. I think that's probably the biggest thing is, is that guys need to be put in. We got a lot of guys who are in situations that they haven't been in before. And the only way how you, the only way you, you know how you're going to respond to those situations is by, by going through it. And uh, again, it's just the experience factor. They need to be in these situations. They need to, they need to be able to play when they're down a goal, up a goal, tied, uh, critical situations in the defensive zone, special teams. Uh, you know, when there's breakdowns, how do we recover? Um, what kind of you know the intensity level? How, you know what? How do you, how do you how do you maintain your intensity? Uh, there's just so many different factors that are really hard to to talk about that just happen throughout the course of a season that guys are in, and the more they're in those situations, the more they respond positively. So we just need to again, we just need to play in and, and get experience. Yeah, for sure. I mean, I think experience always matters. Leadership always matters because again, the bottom line is. You know, the message that's being spread, I might be spreading, I, 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 might, I might be saying the message, I might be stating the message, um, but the message is getting conveyed by those captains or those upperclassmen or the guys that obviously are battle tested, you know, to answer your question right there, Schultz. So those guys have to make sure too, they're obviously letting, they're, they're, they're talking about exactly what the weekend's going to be like, what type of building it is inside that locker room. And that, that's the message that needs to be conveyed by the captains and the leadership group.